SEO optimization is the thing that can scare almost any beginner on YouTube. You can shoot the most beautiful videos, do the coolest editing, but if you don't optimize your videos correctly, your channel can die very, very quickly. How to do everything right, how to choose the right tags and ensure high views. I'm gonna tell you all right now. SEO optimization literally means search engine optimization. It is especially important to do everything right on small and new channels because the easiest way to get a lot of traffic is to make a video that is tailored to the audience requests. You can find a topic through Google Trends or use the vidIQ extension. When the topic has already been chosen and the video has already been shot, the optimization process itself begins. It consists of the correct selection of three elements title, tags, and description. The most important of these are tags. Properly selected tags help you choose the right title for your video and write the right description. Choosing tags in itself is not a difficult task, but it requires attention. The easiest way to do optimization is to use the vidIQ extension as allows you to view statistics for each tag, search volume, competition, and simply find a bunch of semantically similar tags. Now a few words about picking the tag. Tags can be divided into three categories by frequency of appearance. Rare, frequent, and very frequent. As the name suggests, very frequent tags are present in most videos in a particular topic. Very often, when people start a YouTube channel, they incorrectly identify the tags that need to be used, preferring very frequent tags in the hope of high views. It definitely brings some views, but the number of them is much less than it could be. And all because if a person enters a high frequency tag into the search, YouTube will show him hundreds and thousands of videos on the topic from channels with much more subscribers and views. Your videos from your new channel will simply get lost in this variety of options. To prevent this from happening, you need to strive to choose as many focused and rare tags as possible. In fact, selection tags should start with the search for these unpopular but in-demand tags. Determine the main benefit of your video for yourself and build on that. Try to choose tags for your topic with the highest volume but the least competition. I usually recommend filling at least 60% of tags with such rare but in-demand tags with low competition. Yes, this will slightly limit the potential reach of your video, but in return, you get much less competition. In a smaller pool, your video will look more attractive, and as a result, you will be able to get the relevant views that you need so much and reach an audience that is really interested in your topic. Naturally, in addition to working with tags, it is worth paying attention to the quality of your video editing. I've always said that editing is very important for the popularity of your videos, and no matter how cool the search engine optimization is, do not forget about the editing. But this doesn't mean that editing should take a lot of time and be super complicated. It just needs to be pleasant to the eye and organic. As a consequence, there is no need to spend a lot of time on it. After all, you can just edit everything in Movavi Video Editor. Movavi Video Editor offers everything you need to create an impressive video. It has a variety of effects, animations, music, and other tools that will help you unleash your creative potential. Even if you are a beginner, in video editing, you will be able to quickly master this editor thanks to its smart features. For example, you can remove the background from a video, remove noise from audio, do a chroma key, or track the movement of an object. Movavi Video Editor is suitable for everyone who wants to create high quality videos, from beginners to experienced editors. And now the most interesting part. You can get the brand new Movavi Video Editor 2024 annual plan, the ultimate tool to create awesome videos easily. So hit the link below and grab your simple yet powerful editor for creating wow videos at a special 15% discount with promo code VLOGMAJOR. It's a limited time offer, so don't miss out. You can't just rely on low competition tags to get your videos seen, so the next step is to select the frequent tags with medium competition. This is done to further expand the potential audience for your video. And here's how it works. A certain number of people make really specific queries which show them your video thanks to low competition tags with a large search volume. These people click on your videos and watch them, thereby increasing CTR and average view duration, 
for your videos. YouTube sees the positive reaction of the audience, looks at your tags, and sees among them tags with a wider reach and slightly more competition. As a result, it starts recommending your videos and showing them in the search results for these more popular tags. As a result, your target reach and number of relevant views and subscribers grow. For the same purpose, it is worth adding a few very popular tags with high competition in case your videos go beyond the reach of rare and frequent tags. If you do everything right, you will provide your video with three levels of reach. Small but most targeted, larger but less targeted, and huge but practically non-targeted. But that's not the end of it. Just choosing text isn't enough. You also need to worry about getting people to click on your videos. And here is where the title and description come in. I won't talk about the thumbnail now, but let's assume that it's good and works in tandem with the title. Here is how to write the right video title. It's better to make a two-part title. The left part is responsible for the artistic and clickbaity element of the video, and the second one is for the search. Sometimes they can overlap and complement each other, but that depends on the topic of the video itself. So this second half of the title can be separated from the first by and dash, slash, or simply by formatting. For example, the first half will be written in all caps, and the second will be written normally. And the viewer in the search will always see only the first half and the second will be hidden in most cases. But this second search focus half will help your video appear in the top. To select the next text for this half, you just need to take one of the unpopular but in-demand tags that we added earlier. It is better to choose such a tag that will have the least competition with the largest volume. So for YouTube search algorithms, this tag will pop up twice as often in the title and tags themselves. Double the effect. After you've finished with the general tags and title, it's time to move on to the description. People usually forget about the description and just write a brief summary of the video, the intro speech, or just leave it blank. I will tell you a secret, but you also need to write as many tags as possible in the description, and you need to do it in the first 100 characters. Because when searching, more characters simply won't fit, and the keywords will actually be highlighted. And when a person is choosing which video to choose from the search, seeing your video and a large number of highlighted keywords in the description, the chance that they will click increases dramatically. But you can't just stuff tags as is, because YouTube considers this as a violation of the rules. So you need to be a little more creative. Search algorithms work slightly differently with descriptions, so you can add relevant words in between the parts of the tag to form normal sentences. For example, want to use the tag promote video 2023. If we write it as it is, we will be breaking the rules. But if we do how to properly promote a video on YouTube in 2023, then we will use the tag completely and add a few relevant words that may also come up in the search. At the same time, the description will look like a normal text written by a person, not dozens of tags separated by commas. Again, pay more attention to the first few sentences. For the rest of the description, you can be more creative, but what tags should you use for the description? The idea here is the same. Take tags with the highest volume and the minimum competition and go down to more popular and more competitive tags. Another important tip is to make sure that the title, description, and thumbnail work together and are not repetitive repetitions of each other. They should complement, not repeat. Ideally, we want a person to see your thumbnail and become interested, then read the title and understand how useful the video is. And if he decides to read the description, it should do the last blow and make a person watch. SEO optimization is really the easiest way to ensure yourself decent views. If you have a small channel, it will be much easier for you to gain an initial audience by making videos optimized for a large volume search and low competition and then expand your audience by creating bigger videos designed for more frequent searches. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.